Hey folks, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hanging in the Woods with Mr. Delcourt. Uh, I'll be your host today, Mr. Delcourt, science teacher and founder of the Thornton Academy Angler Society. Today, we're going to talk about an amazing tool used by foresters. For a long, long time, it mixes math and science, two of my favorite things. We're talking about the Biltmore Stick. This thing is awesome. Uh, the Biltmore Stick uses trigonometry. Uh, to estimate the diameter of a tree. We can step back 66 feet and we can estimate the height of a tree. We can figure out how many merchantable logs are in a tree using this tool. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna estimate the volume of wood in a tree using the Biltmore stick. And a forester would be able to cruise a wood lot using this tool uh, to get an idea of how much wood is out there. And then we can use those measurements to figure out the value of the trees on any given property. We're out here in my backyard today and we're going to use a couple of trees here in a second to talk about how we would use the Biltmore stick if we were in class uh, roaming around the TA forest. Uh, but first, uh, the Biltmore stick is going to calculate volume of wood in a tree uh, in a unit called a board foot. Now this is roughly a board foot. A board foot is 12 inches by 12 inches by 1 inch. And this is a little too uh, thin of a board and it's not perfectly square, but you can imagine 12 inches by 12 inches by 1 inch, you can get yourself a board jump right in we'll talk about how the Biltmore stick actually works. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we'll take this stick uh, and this, this thing is, as I said, it's truly amazing. Um, if we look at it, the stick is 25 inches long and that's pretty important. Okay? Uh, we're going to hold this thing 25 inches from our eye and we're going to hold it up to the tree at four and a half feet above the ground. That's called diameter at breast height. DBH, uh, four and a half feet above the ground. We're gonna hold this 25 inches from our eye, uh, and we can we can do some pretty cool stuff with this. Now I want to point out to you uh, that I always brag. I feel like I'm built with the perfect dimensions of a forester, and here's why. Uh, taller people and shorter people, this might not work. Longer or shorter arms, it might not work as well. Um, when I happen to stand, center of my chest, breast height is exactly four and a half feet above the ground. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I don't have to worry about it. I know DBH is actually my breast height, okay? Uh, the other cool thing is, you need to hold this 25 inches from your eye, and we do a whole thing in class generally where students learn how to hold this 25 inches. If you've got really long arms, you kind of have to memorize that like crook in your arm that keeps it 25 inches out. And if you have uh, short arms, you may have to kind of really long arm it to get it 25 inches out for me. A nice comfortable extension of my arm, boom, 25 inches every time. So at chest height, 25 inches from my eye, I've got uh, the perfect dimensions to use this Biltmore stick. Now if you take a look right here, you can see these numbers going across the stick. These numbers we're going to use on the edge of the tree over in here. Uh, I'm going to hold it up, I'm going to touch the tree, I'm going to hold this 25 inches from my eye. And I'm going to watch, I'm going to put this edge on one side of the tree and without moving my head, I'm going to look over at the other side and see where a tree uh, intersects here. And I'll know the diameter of that tree at breast height, four and a half feet off the ground. So let's give it a whirl. We're going to do this small beech tree first. This is an American beech, Vegas grandifolia. You can see it's heavily infected with beech bark disease. Um, but it's still, it's still doing okay in the backyard. It's creating some shade, uh, so we've left it here. Um, we'll take a look here. Let's do the diameter breast height of this American beech tree. So I'm gonna walk up to the tree. I'm gonna keep it four and a half feet uh, above the ground right in here. I'm gonna hold this stick out 25 inches from my eye. I'm actually gonna touch the stick to the tree, and I'm gonna line up this edge of the tree with my eye and I'm gonna watch where the tree intersects on this side of the stick without moving my head. So I quickly glance at this tree and we're looking at about 11 and a half, 12 inch diameter at breast height of uh, my American beech tree. Now one of the coolest things about this stick, and I'm gonna see if I can get it on the, on the camera for you here. If, let's say this tree is 12 inches diameter, okay? I can use this right here and this is the number of saw logs. So a tree that is 12 inches in diameter, if it has one, 16 foot log, one nice 16 foot log we could send to a mill, that log is going to have about 55 uh, 
board feed in it. If that tree has two logs, I go down one, it's got two 16 foot logs, I can quickly do the math and I know that that tree's got 90 board feet of lumber in it. So there's all kinds of cool math that this stick will do for you and this is all just an estimate but it's pretty ballpark close. Let's do one more shot here. Oh, Scarlett's joining us. Hey Scarlett. Let's do one more shot here. Uh, we'll come over um, and we'll take a look at this oak tree. Uh, this is a northern red oak over here. Uh, Quercus rubra. Uh, big, beautiful tree. Nice saw log on this thing. Uh, so we'll take a look and we'll measure DBH of our American, of our, I'm sorry, of our red oak tree. So here we go. Let's go. I'm going to stand uh, four and a half feet above the ground. I'm going to reach out 25 inches of my stick, touch it to the tree. Move one edge over so that it intersects the left side of the tree. And this tree is 25 inches in diameter, okay? So this is a big, beautiful northern red oak tree. One of our most valuable trees in the main woods. Um, at 25 inches DBH, if I look at my numbers here, at 25 inches DBH, just one 16-foot saw log has 275 board feet in it. That's a ton of really high-value lumber. Uh, right in the backyard. So who knows, maybe we can do a little harvest back here and make some money off one of these uh, trees. Uh, so I appreciate you joining in today and learning about the Biltmore stick. I wish we could be out in the woods actually using Biltmore sticks. There's Scarlet's Panda. Um, I hope you appreciate it. did it all in one shot. Not messing around here, people, okay? Uh, and I really appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, um, hit me up with any emails, any questions. No homework today. I appreciate you tuning in. Get outside, check out the trees, send me emails with pictures. Loving it, okay? Um, get out there in the woods. The leaves are popping. We'll be going to do a walk uh, along the Eastern Trail and do a video about that here in the next week or so. So really appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you next time.